Hi, my lovely. So, um, I'm going to be talking about some uh, products I use. Um, I actually just purchased this new uh, 3-in-1 Extreme Wear Foundation by uh, CoverGirl. And I've used it a couple times, and I really like it. Um, I'll show you. Put a little bit on my foundation brush um it's supposed to color correct and conceal And I kind of really like it because it still kind of looks natural without looking like it's, you know, caked on there. It's buildable, so if you want it to be um, more full coverage, you can obviously do that. But it really works great, and I can get it anywhere, like Walmart or... Uh, Walgreens, CVS, um, this CoverGirl sold in so many places. Amazon, my famous, favorite store of all. I just add a little bit because I mean why waste product if you don't need to I don't um I don't know about y'all but every time I see some of the videos where they're like pouring and pouring and pouring the makeup and I know most of them get it for free but um I'm like oh no don't waste it it's too expensive oh well, yeah we struggle for or some of us do for our products so um especially working people like myself i do work a full-time job um so there you go um i really really like it it's my new favorite actually i kind of went and bought another one because you know how places are they'll sell something one day and i not sell it the next day so I actually like it enough I went and bought me a second one. So if you're looking for something that's inexpensive and not spending, you know, 50 bucks for foundation, I suggest trying it. Um, if you're interested, I will, um, I can like do a segment to where I put it on early in the morning and then see how it holds up. Um, I typically, being a makeup artist, I don't wear makeup every day. So, um, five o'clock comes way too early, you know. So, uh, yeah. I really like it. And I hope this helps y'all that are looking for something a little more inexpensive. Love your faces. Hey, lovelies. So, I just did a video talking about... <clears throat> my new favorite um foundation um i'm going to talk about priming your eyes i like to use pretty vulgar um eyeshadow primer i have kind of oily eyelids so um it kind of helps you know block all that so i can have a longer lasting um eyeshadow I just rub it on my whole eyelid with my finger. And then let it set. <clears throat> if you just go in and use this though, it does kind of dry it out so it makes blending a little harder. So. Usually after I do this, I do put a base on, whether it's 
concealer or another colored base um or um i like the nyx white professional makeup um eyeshadow base i use it a lot um i also like um Beauty Creations has all color new eyeshadow bases. Um, I really like them too and they're very pigmented and you don't have to use very much of it at all. So um, if you haven't tried them, I suggest trying them because uh, like I said, they're great. Inspired by my new kitchen that I've been doing. So I'm going to take some pink from Beauty Creations. It's a color base primer and we are going to prime uh, my eye with it and then we're going to do an eyeshadow look inspired by my new kitchen my kitchen is more of a dusty pink it's not really that pink but you don't need very much of this um I'm going to stab it in there Just dab it and swipe it down, especially if you have hooded eyelids and your eyelids crease. And that's alright because we're going to wipe all that off later. Then we'll take a blending brush. <laughs> and then use the lid lock, which makes it a little bit more. Um, drier feeling. So you gotta work a little bit more to blend it out. Um, but if you like me with oily lids, it'll be alright. Blend it out. Base color, like a bright pink. And I'm going to put it for my crease up, mostly. You know, hang up, be perfect. We're gonna cut that crease later. Just like so. I'm going to take the cream sugar, blend it in at the brow bone. Bring it down to the side. I like Kate said, very neutral color. It's not all just bright. Just like so. Very pretty. So, <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do is take some ice water and I'm going to cut the crease. I actually want it to be right above the transfer line. This is why I don't put my foundation on first. I did a video about my favorite foundation, so um, that's the orange light, already one. Stop. <coughs> I'm gonna take some of this lid lock and put it back on there because I do have um, I'm gonna say oily eyelid, so um, I'm gonna put it right where we just cleaned it and let it sit for just a second. Alright, so now I've got my cut crease and my eyelid reprimed. I am going to go in with Beauty Creations Aqua Glow Gel Pod. Oh, I ain't even opened it. Look at there. I haven't used this color yet. There you go. <clears throat> and we're going to go in 
with a skinny detail brush. And line my eye. So then I'm going to do a highlighter. I'm going to start at the corner and then bring it up toward my brow bone. Like so. I'm going to start right above my crease and bring it over what? like so and I'm going to thicken up the lines some transfer which is you know the problem with it at eyes so I'm gonna take a brush and dip it in some micellar water and just clean it up and right there just like so I'm going to take this and bring it out so just like so and I do realize that I keep my my mouth open a lot curses 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 oh no I didn't let it dry so take that same brush and I Clean it up. Just like that. Why that's drying because I'll make a mess of it. Just darken that line. And I'm going to fill this in all the way up into. About right there. Take that other <clears throat> brush with the micellar water and clean it up. A nice straight Mine. 
sure we're gonna find some glitter. Here we go, you know, spice it up. All right, so I'm gonna take some of the Star Stuck glitter grip um, and just pat it on in there, the empty space. And I'm just basically filling in where I didn't put anything. Just like so. And this is one of my favorite glitter blues. It's from Sparkle and Riot. <clears throat> I'm going to take my handy dandy little glitter tool and I like to put some in the cup, I mean in the lid. I'm going to dab it in there. Try to do as much of it as I can with the tip of it, just to be able to, you know, get a little bit more detail out of it. And in your big spaces, you can use your flat spot. Because I don't like to waste. I know what I don't use back in the container. And I close it up. And this is. Actually. This was a free gift. With a purchase I made. From. Royal Beauty Cosmetics. So it doesn't have. Um, what shade it is. But um. She has really pretty combinations of glitter that um, are great. So if you haven't checked them out, you should. Let's add some gems. I'm going to go in and add a little bit more foundation. Um, I am using the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. It's supposed to color correct and conceal. And I think it's fabulous. Um, and you can get it anywhere and it doesn't cost you 50 bucks for foundation. So that's my favorite at the moment. Ready? Voila. Alright, so I'm going to take um, some of the Aqua Beauty Creations in the pod. And I'm going to do my eyebrows. Because they're good for all kinds of things. Liner. Um, you put on your eyeshadow. For like an eyeshadow base. I'm going to bring it right to where it starts to hook over. Make sure it's all blended in. Oh, I don't have a spoolie on the end of that one. So. Just 
fade it at the end. And then I'm gonna go in with the pink like this. And it is Let's Go Party. I'm gonna wipe the teal off, or the aqua off, rather. Or you can use a new brush um, if you choose to. And then I will do the tail with the pink. And then we'll bring it in a little bit. Just like so. Voila. I like to use that word, voila. Like it's magic, because it is magic. It's makeup magic. Alright. So, I am going to take my Star Stuck Glitter Glue. And then I am going to put some dabs and glue because it also not just for glitter it's great for gems I'll put some right here And let it dry just a minute so it can start turning translucent. And while that's happening, we're going to take a little bit of <clears throat> the um, blue and the aqua inside joke is what it's called. Go underneath my lid. Just kind of pack it in there. Try to and knock off that with my quick change pad and then go on with the pink and pack it in the corner, like so. And then I'm gonna bring it over and create that transitional strain right there in the middle. so and take it and bring some of the aqua so like that all right so as you can tell the glue is kind of translucent now so I'll take <clears throat> the gem if you can pick it up anybody else struggle I do. And set it on the first glue spot. Like I said, I struggle. Like so. I forgot I'm out of practice but I did buy one of these and it makes it so much easier and I can't believe I forgot So, 
And then we'll take some of the green, which isn't exactly the same shade of green, but it works. And go right there. I adjust my light and see if I can't get it to where I can see it better. Be able to see it a little bit better when I take my up close pictures, but got those on. And if you don't have one of these, I recommend it if you're going to do gems and stuff. Because as you can see, I don't know how they be using the tweezers, I'll be honest, because uh, I'll be struggling with them. But so <clears throat> I'm going to take the pink because I like pink against my blue eyes better than I do the teal because they kind of drown them out but Beauty Creations makes like the whole set of the color coordinated um, line of the brights Just doing my waterline at the top. I'm going to do the waterline at the bottom. Like so. Let's see. The difference it made on my to my blue having that pink against it um if you know anything about your color wheel opposites which opposite of blue is orange and where's pink in that closer to the orange so that's why it helps see the blue and the green they're next to each other so they kind of like mute each other but if you want it to pop, you use your, your um, opposites. So, there you go. Next, I want to do my lashes. First thing you should do is curl your lashes. It helps them um, be curly. Like so. And then I am using um, L'Oreal's Carbon Black Telescopic uh, Mascara. Now I don't always like to use um, falsies. Um, But to me, this gives it it's nice and black, which I like, and it really does create length. Um, I 
on there. Come back in again at the top. as well but I said you'll be able to see it. There you go. That's without falsies. I have my lashes on these little cute trays or at least most of them. we're gonna go with these and see what I do with these trays is I taped on the back the brand and the style that they're in so um of course I could tag y'all because that's what we do I think I'm going to go with these they are by uh, lashybox.com they are 3d silk lashes in style Gemini and as you can tell by the glue on them I use these often they're one of my favorite ones um I take them and I kind of roll them like so create that nice bend and then I am using kiss strip last adhesive with aloe and clear and then we'll coat it on the band like so and put a little extra on the ends because you are like me I don't know they just don't like to stick those ends don't like to stick at all Then we're gonna let it dry. Ish. Let it dry ish. And yes, I am drinking out of a Ninja Turtle cup because Ninja Turtles are awesome. You can tell when it starts to dry because it starts to get translucent um, instead of that cloudy color. You're going to take it and pop it up there. Make sure that you got it all in all the places, which I don't at the moment. Um, there we go. And what I like to do is I like to get them and pinch them down. In my lashes, so there's not that gap. Ah. There we go. Just like so. So we are done with this eye um for the most part i forgot one thing gotta have that highlight in the corner right let's get her done hey dandy elf highlighter um it's in white gold if it doesn't open and I like to take a little beady brush that's really not even probably made for this, but I like it if I can find it. It's probably dirty. That's 
Who else has a whole bunch of dirty brushes that need to be cleaned? Me? Is it just me? Tell me I'm not alone. I'm going into the corner. I like to bring mine down a little bit. By the corner. I think it's because I have that deep set right there. But, there we go. Hope y'all like it.